Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So, today's daily quest is to cast 20 black or red spells, nice and easy, good good Rakdos combination, one of my more one of my more favorite um, combos. And at the moment we have like three different Rakdos decks. This one I just put together, and obviously this is the one we're gonna be running. So, I've seen this one, I've seen this deck list a few different places. I've seen it uh, doing the rounds on Twitter. I've seen a few different um, Magic the Gathering content creators running the deck. Um, it's interesting. I mean, it's a sac it's a sacrifice deck, which you know can be good, can not depends on how things go. You 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 do have to think about it a bit more. But yeah, so the basic idea, you know, Spiteful Hex, Hex Mage creates Cursed Roll. That Cursed Roll is now Sacrifice Fodder, typically, most likely for Disturbing Mirth, because you may sacrifice another enchantment or a creature. When you do, draw two cards. Good good card draw. And when you end up sacrificing Disturbing Mirth, it manifests Dread, which can be really, really, really good, depending on what you grab. We are running Rotten Rotten Mouth Viper, which to me is kind of like the main reason this is a sacrificial deck, because this is a well, a non-legendary creature that you know you can sacrifice up to five things and drop it for one black mana. Kind of crazy. So a big part of this is like trying to get things to sacrifice for Rotten Rotten Mouth Viper. So the uh, curse enchantments. Clockwork percussionist because when it gets sacrificed or when it dies, you get a bonus from it. You know, exile the top card of your library. You may play it until the end of your next turn. Gleeful demolition gives you three things you can sacrifice, and if you use it, you know, you have Clockwork percussionist to use it on, which is typically what you're going to be using that for. Or it's, or you can just use it for destroying a target artifact. That is, that is an option as well that your opponent controls. Torch the tower. Yeah. Again, more sacrifice, bargain off something uh, to deal three damage instead of instead of two. Go for the throat. Just good removal. Chainsaw, an interesting one. This is also removal, deals three damage, but it also, you know, gets stronger every time something dies in a on a turn. It is only like, and, and it's not like if three things die at once you still only get a single rev counter on chainsaw but this is also our way of making rotmouth just that much more terrifying or really any of our cards because a uh, equipped creature gets plus x where x is the number of rev counters yeah, kind of crazy kind of kind of kind of scary uh charming scoundrel not much really to say about her, other than she creates a treasure token or a wicked roll, depending on what you want to do. Undead Sprinter. I would like a couple more copies of this, but we're good at two at the moment. Just good. Good card. And we'll be, you know, if it's in our graveyard, we'll be sacrificing enough stuff to where we can send it back out. I think it's our only zombie, so anything anything else that dies, we can, we can bring this back out. And that's actually one of the reasons I'm running Murex, because it can create a Phyrexian Might, which is another artifact creature, um, which is good fodder for Gleeful Demolition or for anything else. So yeah, I like it. I think it's an interesting idea. I'm looking forward to trying it, seeing as how I don't, I haven't really played a whole lot of, sac of Rakdos Sacrifice before. I mean, I've had one or two decks that worked on Sacrifice mechanics, but... Not a whole lot, and I feel like that's a big part of Rakdos, is being the sacrifice, you know, the sacrificial arch archetype, but I guess we'll find out. And ultimately, if this doesn't work out, that's completely fine. I am running, I have two copies of Blaze Meyer Verge, which I was just lucky enough to get, to get from some packs. So, pretty good. I like I like this start. Um, probably start off with the Blaze Mire into Hex Mage. Yeah, 
Yeah, at the moment, Blaze Mire is just a black mana because I don't have a mountain or a swamp on the field. Hello. Let's go ahead and send out this. And I'm gonna go with the treasure token. Ah, oh, wait. Ah, oh, that was stupid. I don't know what I don't I do not know what I was thinking. That that probably just lost me the game. <laughs> uh, that's okay. They're actually gonna send out Kellen? Okay. See no reason to not get rid of Kellen. Ruby Daring Tracker. Send in your legendary. Okay. Discard a card or lose life. Or yeah, or sacrifice. Hopefully they don't just immediately get rid of my rotten mouth. If that happens, I'm kind of, you know, screwed. <laughs> Deals five damage. Okay. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Now you gotta get rid of two things. If you sacrifice that, yeah, let's do this. Give it gets rid of the ruby. And now you gotta get rid of three things. be a non-land permanent as well. Yeah, can't pick lands. Interesting choices. Anything to help you? No, it. It was a good game. I'll just attack next. Okay, lower they can concede. That works as well. All right. Well, to be honest, rotten, rotten mouth viper is just an absolutely devastating card. So, 
even if like you don't get all of the sacrificial elements to this deck, if you get a Rotten Mouth on the field and your opponent doesn't have hard removal or a, a kill card or a or an exile or a banish or whatever, not a whole lot they can do. I like this. Yeah, I like this one. Start off with a mountain, go into Clockwork Percussionist. Yeah, don't make the mistake. Don't make the mistake of playing of having a Verge card. Always look at the what is the guaranteed mana. Always be aware of that. Won't make that mistake again. <laughs> yeah, won't make that mistake. Ooh, Caustic Bronco. Okay. Enchantment or creature, that's not that big a deal at the moment. Let's go ahead and do this. I want to do this first. I well, know it doesn't matter. Go for the throat. Excellent. Better to get rid of. Alright, maybe I'll get maybe I'll pull it up. Uh, the percussionist. Yeah, whenever it attacks manifest dread. Let's see, what did they get rid of? They got rid of an overlord? Okay. Because they pulled another one. Nice. Very nice. Huh. Let's see what they do with that. Because if it dies, I get to... That's fine. Ah, that's too bad. A lot of mana. I'm getting kind of swamped with mana here. <laughs> Get it? Swamped. I'm so sorry. And what is its ability? Mill. Avatar card from your hand. Onto the Into your hand. Gotcha. See if I can last a bit longer. Yeah, I'm not liking my chances here. Alright, what are my options? I mean, I've 
I don't think I don't think I can win this match. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've I've lost this match, but that doesn't do anything because it has to attack. See, I could double I could double block here. I would still I would lose both both of my creatures, so but I would get rid of their overlord. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, they just wanted to tap it because of the survivor ability. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's absolutely insane. What's your reward? Sacrifice three non-land permanents? Okay, can't do that. Oh, man. I'm just going to get one spell off. One spell off, good game, and concede. <laughs> Valgavoth, nice. Man, that was unfortunate. But all things considered, not not too bad for the deck, I would I would think. I might hang on to it. Yeah, I might hang on to it, might do some experimenting with it. But yeah, with that. We've uh, gone past 15 minutes. We've completed our daily. Two matches, one win, one loss. I'm okay with that. We leveled up. I saw one of the rewards. Okay, so it's just the eye in the pack. So let's open up the pack to um, finish things off. All right, nothing too, nothing too uh, great here. What's our rare? This is from Bloomborough, obviously. Byway Barterer. Okay. And with that, I do believe it is time to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit, to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is released to the channel, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.